I think he stayed up there with her so that she could get some stuff out. He's going to take the back. Me and you are going to go in through the front. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Talk to uh, Ryan. Ryan? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, is he here to talk to you? Uh, Ryan Edwards? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's here. Do you want me to get him for you? Yes, please. Uh -huh. Hang on one second. So we'll walk with you here, Bishop. Yeah. Ryan. Yeah. This truck's here. Yeah. I'm going to work that. Ryan. Matt, right, if you want to keep an eye on that truck right there. Let's see. Oh, okay. Now, now. That's him sitting on that. Take your hand out of your pocket. Sit right here. Turn around. What is going on? Turn around. You're in place under arrest. For what? Well, for one, you know what you did up here at the house. That's ridiculous. I did not do that. Oh, yeah? Somebody else did it. I've got evidence. Okay. Well, you have a warrant, so how about okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Is this that is, better for you? This is crazy. Well, you violated the order last night. You're supposed to immediately vacate. The officer that said I could move my stuff out. He told you you could do that with a police with escort with 45 minutes. That's written on that. If she wasn't he there. He also told you that you needed to turn yourself in on this warrant. Yes, that was yesterday. Right. 656, six, got one in custody. Well, I'm going to go ahead and Miranda's and we'll talk a little bit about that. So, we're not going to ask you any questions right now, but just so that you're all aware of what's going on, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you. You have the right to have that attorney present at any time during questioning. And you have the right to refuse to answer any questions. I need to lock my toolbox, though. Yeah, somebody else can handle it. Somebody else is going to have to do that for you. Ma'am, I have the keys to it. Wherever it is, if you've unsecured it right now, I don't know where it's at. We're going straight to a patrol car. So you said you didn't do that. What, what am I talking about? I've been to my house. I saw what the hell was done. So who did that then? If it wasn't you. The person that is with her, I guess. When did you see it? When I was there, 
I stayed at my house, at my parents' house. I know his part of that's roll box. I know what he did. He drove by my house one day. I left and went to my dad's house. When I went back that morning, that's what I saw. What morning? Okay, she, she was at the house yesterday and it wasn't like that. Yes, it was. I've got proof. What kind of proof do you have? I have my camera, Yank camera, with the SD cards. You also violated the order by calling her dad, telling him that you're going to be there at the house. Are you serious? Yes. That's indirect contact. I don't understand that. Somebody pick it up in front of the jail. Um.
On audio on. Audio on? Yeah. Let's see what... Yep, good deal. You want, I've got gloves, you want me to pull it out? Um. Throw it in. Yeah, here we can just... I think I got a baggie right here we can put it in. She said cocaine, but I know in the past he's had heroin charged with red paint, but I think she said coke. So either way, I wouldn't test it, we'll just send it off. But yeah, just, um, I suspect it either being. Uh, um, I mean, cocaine would be more fitting for what he did over there. Yeah, it being would. Being up all night, but. Or what he might. Was this somebody else's too, or was it. Or was that all you? What, that wallet? Yeah. Yeah, it's mine. Right. Just for our safety, is it fentanyl or is it heroin or is it something else? Huh? You don't know? Hmm. Is it powdered sugar? Oh, okay. Somebody just slip in your wallet. I very often don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I really appreciate it. Um, 